Annyeonghaseyo, Chuho Mida. Today we'll look at gotten and see how this grammatical form is closely linked to the flow of information in conversation. To begin with, we need to separate the two kinds of gotten. There's gotten as a conditional conjunctive and gotten as a sentence final form. This video will focus on the second usage. Very briefly, the conditional connective gotten is similar to the connective myon, where the first clause is the basis for the contents of the second clause. The difference between the two is explained in UKR 008. That's all we'll say because sentence final gotten is very different. Gotten was originally a clausal conjunctive and over time became a sentence final form which has a different purpose and is more common in spoken language. Sentence final gotten is normally described as a grammatical form used to give reasons for something. However, there's more to say about it than that. Gotten is primarily used to manage the presentation of information. Similar to nun de, gotten has an interactional function, rather than having a particular meaning. For that reason, the only way to understand gotten is to analyse dialogues in which it's used. The following are eavesdropped conversations taken for linguistic research. The paper these come from can be found in the description. So, why was gotten used in this dialogue? Here, gotten marks background information needed for an upcoming explanation. Yongi wants to talk about what happened the day before yesterday, but it's first necessary for the listener to understand that this day was her brother's training day. The story wouldn't be funny otherwise. Here, Godin is like saying, although this bit is new to you, you need it as background for what I'm about to say. This dialogue shows how Godin is used to manage the flow of information in the conversation. Speakers don't know exactly what they're going to say when they start talking. Unlike writing a story, the speaker cannot easily plan ahead and have everything come out perfectly. Dialogue 1 shows how speakers can use Godin to manage the flow of conversation by interjecting details necessary for the progression of the story. Here the speaker is again using Gordon to manage the flow of information, this time adding a background to help the listener understand what was just said. In the line with Gordon, the speaker adds details which should have been said earlier in the storytelling. Not doing so made it more difficult for the listener to comprehend. So now we see Gordon functioning as a tool to repair a disorganized passage. Here it's like saying, Wait a moment, I should have told you this earlier. To explain it another way, the speaker realizes she's made an error in her storytelling and makes a self-correction with Godin, providing the information necessary for listener comprehension. I was in the first year. What? Why did you do a car? I was in the Here the speaker states the reason why they commuted from home during first year. Gotten is often used when giving reasons like this and notice that there aren't any issues in the flow of information. So then why does the speaker use gotten? Gotten is used to manage the presentation of information. There doesn't need to be a difficulty for it to be used. The next dialogue shows how gotten can be used when disagreeing with someone. 걔네들은 정말 걔들이 메일을 보내면 진짜 못 읽겠는 거예요, 막. 
난 읽을 줄 아는데 뭐 아리옹 아리옹이 무슨 뜻이에요? 아리옹? 음 선생님 아리옹 맨날 그러는데 무슨 말인지 몰라가지고 <웃음> 모르겠다 사투리 아니야? 어 아니에요 아니거든요 Here the speaker uses gotten to make a strong disagreement with the other person. Even though he doesn't know the meaning of Ariong, he's saying it's definitely not a dialect, but rather slang from his student's generation. In doing so, he uses ani not once but twice. This could have been repeated for two reasons. Firstly, he may have suddenly realized that considering Ariong as a dialect is too absurd. Secondly, he may have suddenly recalled that the topic of conversation was about the generation gap and that Ariong is an example of this gap. In either scenario, Godin implies the fact that this isn't a dialect should have been presupposed earlier and makes his expression of disagreement stronger. This is similar to the previous dialogues where Godin is used to manage the presentation of information. Here we see a common theme where Godin conveys the message of, you know what I'm telling you now? This should have been presupposed already. Hopefully what I mean by that becomes clear in the next examples. 저기 이 커피 조금 전에 샀는데 시럽 좀 주시겠어요? 저기 카운터 옆에 있거든요. 아 여기요? 없는데요. Here the speaker gives an impolite response with Godin. Note that the sentence wouldn't sound so rude and aggressive if it were simply yope isoyo. Why does Godin make it much more impolite? Godin has nuance of, you know what I'm telling you now? You should have known this already. It sounds very rude and disrespectful because it implies the other person should have presupposed the location of the syrup and that they shouldn't have asked such a question in the first place. Here's another example. 케이크 먹을래? 됐거든? This reply would be very impolite, sound sarcastic, and be perceived as belligerent. The reply with Godin could be expressing something like, you wouldn't share any cake before, so why are you asking now? Here we see that person A is saying, I'm fine, with the nuance of, you should know this already. So now we're beginning to see that Godin is related to the presumption of a shared knowledge between speakers. In this next example, Yongi is letting her boss know that she cannot make the staff dinner because she already has plans for the following night. The boss expects everyone to attend without exceptions. 저 내일 저녁에는 선약이 있어요. 저 내일 저녁에는 선약이 있거든요. In A2, the speaker uses gotten to soften the utterance. Unlike the impolite examples, the speaker isn't saying, you should have known this already. Here the speaker is trying to be polite and show that she feels uneasy about the exchange. She's simply stating the facts as they are. In this example, gotten makes her case for not attending appear more valid and truthful. How is it so? Godin presents the information as if it was already a known fact. Clearly the boss didn't know about this, and it's news to him. However, Godin presents the information as if it were already presupposed. In carefully navigating the situation, the speaker assigns responsibility onto the presupposed factual world. This links back to what was said in the beginning about managing the presentation of information. So, how do these politeness, impoliteness examples connect with the flow of information examples? The suggested idea is that the polite, impolite examples are an extension of Godin's basic information management function. The speaker is presenting a new piece of information as if it's an old piece of information. Or more specifically, the speaker is presenting new information to be construed as presupposed known information. In the storytelling examples, dialogues 1 to 4, the speakers are using gotten to better manage the flow of information. They want the listeners to construe a piece of new information 
as if it was already known at the time of speaking. It's like saying, although this is new to you, take it as if it's old information because it will help you see where I'm coming from. This helped the listeners see the humour in the situation, or why a certain decision was made, or why something was difficult. So while Godin is often described as a sentence ending which gives reasons for something, there's more to it than that, where it's a tool to manipulate the presentation of information. In the politeness-impoliteness examples, the speaker is presenting new information as if it were already known, either known by the listener or known as some presupposed facts. This is how Godin is used in many different speech acts. It can be used when clarifying reasons, setting a background, making excuses, giving apologies, giving advice, and so on, with the presence of either politeness or impoliteness. Godin is closely tied to the situational understanding between speaker and listener, and is used to either help manage the dynamic and disorganised flow of information, or for politeness-impoliteness strategies. I hope this lesson has been helpful.